Welcome to Color Up. You've probably heard of trickle down economics. Well, today's strategy, the trickle up strategy, we're gonna use the numbers to feed or trickle up to the six and eight. The six and eight are the most common numbers to roll other than the one that we don't mention. And if we can roll those numbers, we're in for a big score. Let's check it out. All right, today's strategy is part of my Dice Advice series where viewers submit me a strategy and I roll it and test it out here. Now, today's strategy was sent to me anonymously, and so I took the liberty to tweak it just a little bit, and I'll tell you where those tweaks are, but let's go ahead and check out the trickle up strategy. Now, the goal of this strategy is to get your place bet on the six and eight to $60. After that, on every roll of the six and eight, you will just collect. Now, how you achieve that is by using the outside numbers. Now, he mentioned just betting the inside numbers. Optionally, you could bet the four and 10 if you'd like, but you're gonna use these wins to press up and use any extras to put on the six and eight. If the six and eight roll, you would just press them up themselves, but the goal is to get these to $60 levels and then just start collecting from there on out. So let's see how the strategy works. We're gonna start off with $66 inside, right? $15 bets on the five and nine, $18 bets on the six and eight and let's say the five rolls. So we're gonna get paid $21 for that. We're going to press the number that hits. Press just means double. So we have a $15 bet. We're gonna make that a $30 bet. Dealers will likely change that out. And we have $6 that we can funnel over to the six. So now the six, we have a $24 bet. We're not gonna collect anything until we can get this six and eight to $60. And it happens fast if we can roll our numbers. Now let's say the six rolls here. We have a $24 bet. That's gonna win $28. We can tell the dealer press, which he's just gonna hand off your cap. And now you've got a $48 bet here. This time you collected a little bit, but again, we, we haven't, we're at $48. We haven't hit that $60 level. So we're not going to mess with it yet. Now here's where my tweak comes into play. Let's say we roll a five. We have a $30 bet here. $30 is going to pay 42. Now he submitted the strategy where you press to, you would take this to 60 and use the $12 on the six, but then you've got kind of a weird number. Um, I like to make it an even amount. So let's see, we have 30 on it. I'll just take it up to $50. So that's my tweak. Instead of doing a full press, I'll take it to a nice kind of round number. 50 is gonna pay 70, which is just nice. Now I certainly have enough to get this to 60. So we have 25, 50, $60, right? So we'll, we can change that out. Again, we'll collect a little bit of change here, but from here on out, anytime the six rolls, 60 is going to pay 70. That's just gonna be a straight collect of $70. Let's say the five rolls, 50 is also going to pay $70, but we could just use that money to press on the, the six. And instead of using all of it, we could just pull out 30 each time. So. We're keeping nice round numbers for the six, increments of six. So we go from 60 to 90, and here we're collecting another $40 if the five hits. Meanwhile, we're building up that six. The $90 is gonna pay 105, I believe, right? And it's the same thing. So you use the five to funnel into the six, and the nine to funnel into the eight, and the four and 10, that's why he calls it trickle up. If optionally, if you wanted to bet those as well, you can press them, and then after you've pressed them, use it to funnel into the six and eight or trickle up. I'm just gonna roll this out with the inside numbers, $66 outlay. You're probably gonna need about $600 to run through or give this a try with 10 shooters. So we'll go ahead and set that up and give this a try. All right, $600. We're gonna go ahead and let the shooter establish his point. We're not gonna bet the come out roll. We would need a line bet. If so, if we were the shooter, we'll assume someone else is rolling. Six, easy is gonna be our point. So we'll mark the six and we'll go ahead 50. We'll drop $70 to the dealer and ask for 66 inside. That'll be $4 and change. And we'll get this set up. And we'll be on our way. All right, clean this up back here. Here we go, shooting for inside numbers. So, oh, <laughs> 0.7. That's why you need the bankroll for at least 10 shooters. It's gonna happen sometimes. All right, down it comes just like that. Achilles heel of most strategies, right? The early seven. 
And again, optionally, you could add the 4 and 10 to cover more numbers, but we're just going to start with the inside and see what happens. All right, here we go. New shooter. Already new shooter coming out. Six, right back on that six. <clears throat> six easy. 50, 65, we have exact change of 66 to the dealer and we'll get set up again. All right. And away we go. All right, shooter, give me some inside numbers. Six easy point hit, we'll take the six. All right, 18 is going to pay 21. And we'll go ahead and just press this up. So we'll take that to 36. And they may clean that up a little bit. Got a $36 bet. We racked a few pennies. That was our point. So the puck is going to go off. Remember, we're trying to get to the $60 level before we really start collecting anything. Here we go. Coming out. Four easy. Four is going to be our point. We'll go ahead and mark that up. And we're on our way again. Five. That's a good one for us. So 15 is going to pay 21. Here we're just going to press, right? That means double. So we'll take that up to a $30 bet. They'll likely change that out. We have $6 left that we could just funnel or trickle up to the six. So we'll take that. What do we, oh, we already had this pressed up a little bit. So now we'll be at 42. All right, getting closer on that one. We've got a really good one here on the five. Let's see what happens. Three, three craps. We don't care about that. Five, there we go. So 30 is going to pay 42. And again, my little tweak, instead of taking pressing, doing full press, I'm just going to press it to 50. So we'll take that to 50. So it's a nice number that pays nicely at pays 70. And that should be enough to take this guy up to $60. Let's see here. Um, 25, 50, 60. Yeah, so we get four and change back, and now we have a $60 bet right where we want to be. And from here on out, we just start collecting $70 from that guy. All right, so five or six would be great ones to hit. Here we go. 10, 10 easy. Four point hit, four easy. So the puck's going to go off. We're just going to follow the puck. The puck's off. Our place bets are off. You could work them if you'd like. Five. And you go, ah, you just missed out. That's true. I did miss out. But that's okay. They're all working now. And let's see what happens. Here we go. Dice off the table. No roll. Let me go ahead and grab that. And here we go. Five. We hit that five again. So, so much for the theory of dice go off the table. All right. 50, like I said before, is going to pay a nice round 70. Thing I like, thing I like about this is we can go a nice $30 amount. So we'll take the six up to 90 and we'll still rack a pretty good amount here, $40. So we just about recouped our money for the shooter, but we've got some great bets out here. Oh, don't let me forget the puck goes off. Here we go. Coming out again, seven on the come out. That's why I don't work my bets, but here we go. Yo, 11. Seven, another frontline winner. And our place bets didn't lose. Six, all right, hard six. We're gonna be out on that six. All right, shooting for that six. We got $90 on it, it'd be a nice one. Three, three craps. And that's gonna drop, they're gonna call this a five. So what do we got on the five? We got $50. So 50 is going to win $70. And again, it's a nice number. We could just add 30 to our bet, right? So now we're at 120. And again, we're racking $40. So now we're definitely for profit in the shooter and we've got an amazing $6 bet. All right, here we go. Four, easy four. Six, there it is, six. I have to break out the black chips. That is going to pay 
40, 125, 30, 140. So now we're looking good. So again, we're, remember, we're not pressing the six necessarily until it gets to 60. After that, we're just collecting any of these outside. Again, these are optional. If you, these, we're collecting a little bit and funneling more to build that six and eight up again, the most probable numbers to roll beyond the one that we don't wanna mention. All right, here we go. There's that six again, except for, you know what? I forgot my point should have went off. And now I rolled the six, so we didn't get paid twice. And now it would have came back on the six, I believe. All right, so we're back on the six. We missed out on a big payout, but that's okay. I think I forgot to puck in all my excited to pay out a black chip. All right, here we go. We're ready now for it. And of course, there's the seven. All right, all this money is gonna come down, but that's okay. We got our money out of that shooter. Puck is gonna go off and we'll have a new shooter coming out. Here we go, shooter. Eight, eight the hard way. Let's go ahead and drop our, we can put this back there. 50, 60, $70 to the dealer, 66 inside, please. Sure. Give you four and change. Grab some more singles here. Clean this up a little bit back here. And we're ready to go. All right, shooter. Let's make some money. Eight, eight easy. That's gonna be our point. So 18 is going to pay 21. We'll go ahead and keep the cap and press that up to 36. They might swap that out if they like. There we go, 36. Just to clean it up a little bit. We got our change. Puck's gonna go off. And here we go, coming out. Same shooter, hitting points in this video, I think. Six, easy six. Ready, butts are working. See what happens. Six right back, point hit. All right, same thing. So 18 is going to pay 21. We're just going to press it. So double. So we're going to take that up to a $36 bet. Rack that up. Puck is going to go off. We can clean this bet up a little bit. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow, six. Rolling some good numbers here. Right on that six. Six, is that, I think that's like four in a row, right? All right, so 36 is going to pay 42, and that's definitely gonna be enough to get us up to our $60 bet that we're looking for. So we got that at 60, and now we're gonna pull some off from the shooter. So about 18 there or so. Puck is gonna go off though, because we hit our point, and our bets are off. Looking for another point. It's off the screen probably, but we have a nine. Nine's gonna be our new point. We don't really care about the point so much. Just looking for those inside numbers. Five. All right, this is the first time the five is hit. So 15 is going to pay 21. We're going to press to 30. And we got $6 left over. We could just funnel that to the six if we'd like. But we're, I mean, to go from six to 66, I just assume collect it. I don't know. That's just me. All right, here we go. We'll wait for it to hit again to collect bigger numbers. But we got that five pressed up, which is good. All right, seven. Nope, not gonna happen. So end of the roll. Puck is off. Let's dump the bowl to simulate a new shooter. Again, we're assuming someone else is rolling the dice so we don't have to make a line bet. We'll let them get a point. A four, easy. And then we'll go ahead and make our bet. And move that back there. I have a mess to clean up. So 50, 70 to the dealer. It's four and change. So we can get set up 66 inside. All right, shooter, here we go. Oh, 
the dreaded 0.7. Puck is going to go off. I'm going to take these down. Some people ask, why do I take them down just to put them back up? And I think it's just easier for especially new players to follow instead of leaving it up and pulling from the rack. So that's just how I like to do it. I try to be as quick as I can about setting the bets up, but it gives me some practice too. All right, seven on the come out. We don't care about that. Seven again, frontline winner. We're just observing. 10, 10 hard, 10 is gonna be our point. Again, we'll get down 60. Well, let's just give exact change this time. 66 to the dealer. See, I'm getting pretty decent at setting those bets up. All right, clean this up a little bit. And just like that, we're ready and on our way. There's the six hard, six hard. So 18 is going to pay 21. We'll just press that up. So that's gonna take us to 36. So we can clean that up a little bit and collect a couple pennies. All right, here we go. Inside numbers only, please. 10 point hit. Puck is off, coming out. Eight, eight easy. Eight's gonna be our point. Bets are now working, they're on. Six, the easy way, six easy. So 36 is going to pay 42, and that'll be enough to get us up to a $60 bet. And then we'll rack here $18, so trying to recoup our money, but still pressing. All right, here we go. So we got up to that magic $60 where we start collecting from here on out, unless, of course, the seven rolls, and down they go. All right, what do you say? One more. I don't know how long this has been. We'll give this, we'll give it another try. And we'll count it up. We need a winner here. We need some inside numbers to roll. Eight. Eight's going to be our point. Let's go ahead and drop. 50, 60, we'll pull from over here. 66. That one felt short. After you do it a while, you start to feel how much the chips are, which is a good thing. All right, here we go. Inside numbers only, please. Four, easy. All right, that's outside. Let's move it inside a little bit, shooter. A little extra shake. Five, we'll take that. 15 is going to pay 21. We're gonna press that or double, so we'll take that up to 30. And we can use this six to trickle up to the six here. We'll get make this a $24 bet. I need some more singles over here. And here we go. A little short roll, but three, three craps. They just kind of died on me. All right, hit the back wall, sir. Three, three craps, same result. 10 uh, the hard way. No shooter, we're wasting rolls. We want to see inside numbers to make the strategy show some profit. 10 the easy way. 12 craps, shooting everything but. All right, a little extra shake and bake here and dice off the table. A little too much extra. All right, here we go. And there you go, superstition came alive. There's the seven. All right, so down the bets come. And we will count up and see how it did. I kind of like the idea of the strategy. We certainly didn't get any help with the dice. Uh, we had one decent roll, right? So let's go ahead and clean up our colors here first. And uh, pretty sure we're down. It's a matter of how much. All right, one, two, three, 350. 375, oh, we got another green. We'll do it this way. 375, four. 425, 450. 455, 460. 465, 470, 475, 480, 482. 
So we're down over 100. Obviously, I didn't run through all my shooters, but we only had one of them that really paid off for us. But hey, if you can roll them inside numbers or, you know, I, I imagine it would have fared better because I definitely rolled some fours and tens if I did cover all the numbers. But you just never know how the dice are going to roll. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, good luck on coloring up. Thank you